We've decoded the disc that the Major brought back with her. It contained the blueprints for a mass retaliation weapon, codenamed V2. A far more powerful weapon than the two tactical nukes that the Belt had used in the last war. It was never fully developed at the time, but it appears that they've secretly completed its construction in the 15 years since the war. The V2 is a MERV missile. It can wipe out half of all the large cities in either Osea or Yuktavanya. So where would they deploy it? It had to be in the Seoul, which was also secretly completed and is now operational. After all, it was built to function as an orbital platform for such weapons in the first place. The Seoul itself is unmanned and was controlled from the ground, but we didn't know where. Then, the intelligence vessel Andromeda tracked down the origin of Shantse's transmissions to the Arkbird. It's in the former South Belka, a state entrusted to Ocean rules, and now called North Ocean. To be more precise, the transmissions originated from an experimental facility owned by Grunder Industries, a manufacturer of the weapons we use. The president of Grunder has sworn allegiance to Ocean, but in truth, he was a secret member of the Grey Man. Under the guise of their experimental facility, they are actually digging a gigantic tunnel under the mountain range that runs along the border dividing North and South Belka. Their ultimate goal is to reunite the two Belkas. And in that tunnel... The Kestrel just took a missile hit. Enemy unknown. We can't identify it in time. Additional missile approaching. Rosgris, launch immediately and gain altitude to escape. them up. Hurry up with a catapult. Just concentrate on launching them. All hands not conducting aircraft launch, abandon ship immediately. We're getting you guys into the air no matter what. I don't care what happens to the catapult. Aircraft launch confirmed. Catapult crew will now evacuate the ship. time again. But now, I finally won. Huh? Look, we launched them off safely. There's my victory. As long as they're in the air, I haven't lost. And I know they'll succeed.
Yeah. The captain was humming a tune. The same song I heard from the anti-war audience in the stadium. He was the one playing that record in the middle of a sea battle. This is President Harlan of the Ocean Federation. Attention, all Ocean and Yuktobanian officers and soldiers currently on the battlefield. Let us put down our guns and come out of the trenches. The Ocean capital of Alred has been freed of the people who took advantage of my absence to usurp control of the country. Once robbed of my freedom and of my ability to do the right thing, I now stand again under the light of the golden sun. And I do so with the honorable Yutobanian Prime Minister Nicanor by my side. We have resolved our terrible and unfortunate misunderstandings, and the war is now over. This is Prime Minister Nicanor. Head of Government for the Union of Yuktobanian Republics. Attention all officers and soldiers of Osia and Yuktobania currently on the battlefield. Please watch as President Harlan and I stand shoulder to shoulder, hand in hand. President Harlan's words are true. The war is over, but there is one more battle that still needs to be fought. We believe that those who have tried to stir hatred between us are now preparing a weapon that could wipe out half of all metropolitan areas in either one of our countries. Our comrades are in flight as I speak, determined to stop this plan dead in its tracks. Which country is under the threat of mass destruction? That we do not know. However, that is no longer important. No matter which country is hit, it would be a severe blow to all of us. So now I ask you, members of the military, if you see it in your hearts, please utilize the resources available to you and help out our brave pilots. Right now they are flying east to meet the enemy. To those who still dare to hide behind the power of their hateful weapons, bring yourself before the light of peace and harmony. attack the Solg control system located in a giant tunnel under the Valdrak Mountains. 
The tunnel entrance is located at the foot of the mountains and the entire area is covered by mountains and waterways. First, an armored force will try to move in from the town to infiltrate the wharf where the entrance to the control system is located. There are several enemy defense positions built along the path that the armored force will take, so air support will be vital for their invasion. Meanwhile, a helicopter formation will attack the control system entrance and capture the nearby area. We're also expecting the helicopters to face anti-air resistance, so we'll need support to put down enemy fire around the entrance. Your squadron's mission is to protect the armored force and clear out a landing area for the Helleborn fleet. Once both units capture the facility entrance, a special forces team will open up the shutter blocking the way inside. Go through the open entrance and destroy the Solg control system from the inside.
tunnel. All right, we're opening the tunnel entrance. We've come across a blueprint of the tunnel facility on the Major's disc. The sole control system is in the deepest part of the tunnel. We can't touch it from the entrance. Fly into the tunnel, attack the control system in the deepest part of the complex, and escape out the tunnel exit on the opposite side. This is extremely dangerous, but there's no other way to do this. There are two central components to the control system. You must destroy them both, but you can only destroy one of them per attack run. Furthermore, the ground forces will not be able to keep the entrance shutters open for very long. There's not enough time for you to go back into the tunnel again after the first run. So, a separate plane will have to go in from the other side at the same time. We have only one chance. Synchronize your run with the second plane to attack both components simultaneously and destroy the Solg control system. Emergency transmission from Central. 